Let's say that you have some links on a website and you want to track them. You want to know which links are clicked the most by your visitors. In this video, I will explain how to do that with Google Tag Manager. Also, at the end of this video, I will explain how to build a report with that click data. Let's say that I want to track when someone clicks these menu links right here. And I want to send these events to Google Analytics 4. To get started first, you must have installed Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. And as a result, you will have the Google Analytics 4 configuration tag. If you have no idea what this means, then first take a look at the tutorial in the description of this video where I explain how to install Google Analytics 4 with Google Tag Manager. Once you have that done, then let's check what do we see in the Google Tag Manager preview mode when we click those menu links. To do that, click the preview button in GTM and enter the URL of the website where you want to track those links. Click connect. Now I will click one link, then another link, and then I will go back to the preview mode of GTM. And here I already see some link click events right here. If you don't see the link click events in the preview mode, you should go to Google Tag Manager, Triggers, and click New. Now we are going to create a generic link click trigger that will enable link click tracking features in Google Tag Manager. Click anywhere in the trigger configuration or on this pencil. Then click Just Links and name this trigger All Link Clicks. Click Save. Then also go to Variables and check if you see click related variables right here, such as click ID, click classes. In my case, I don't see them. That is why I will click Configure and then we'll click checkboxes next to each click variable. Then I will close this and then hit the preview button once again. Now let me click any of these links and I will go back to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager. In my case, I now see two link clicks, but that is fine because one of them is coming from Google Analytics 4 because GA4 also is capable of tracking link clicks and the second one is coming from the Google Tag Manager. But this is not a problem because we are now going to track link clicks with Google Tag Manager and our tracking code will fire only on one of these link clicks. If you click on any of these clicks and go to variables, you will see that they have some values. Some values might be empty, some values might contain something, but on your website, their values will probably be different because that's actually how usually they work. Each website might have its own click classes for those particular elements. So now I will try to click all of these links and check if there is any variable, for example, click ID or click classes that have the same value throughout all links. So it means that we can create some condition in our trigger. So let's go to the website and now I will hold the control key on my keyboard. I'm using Windows device. On Mac, it will be, I guess, command key. So while you hold this, click on all of these links. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's go to Google Tag Manager preview mode. And here you will see a bunch of link clicks. As I've said, right now I'm seeing duplicate clicks because one of these clicks comes from Google Tag Manager and the other one from Google Analytics for link click tracking capabilities. So now I will click on every second link because I want to see only those that were dispatched by Google Tag Manager. So I will click the first one and I see that click classes of this link click is site nav link. Nav link in this case means navigation link or in other words, menu link. Click ID is empty. Let's check the second one, nav link. Click ID is empty here, still nav link. So it looks like all menu links have the same click classes value. So I could use this in my condition of a Google Tag Manager trigger. Basically, I will do something like this. If click classes contains site nav link, it means that the click was done on a menu item. But again, I want to remind you that on your website, the values might be different, or in some cases, you might not have even any values at all. If that's your case, then you will need to go advanced and learn a topic called CSS selectors. But this goes out of the scope of this video because this tutorial is geared more towards beginners. So once you identify some variable that is the same throughout all link clicks, you can now create or update a link click trigger in Google Tag Manager. So in my case, I already have the trigger that I will just update. But if you haven't created any link click trigger, then you will need to click new and then select just links trigger. Now I will open this trigger that I already have, then click the pencil and then select some link clicks. 
because I want to track not all link clicks, but only menu link clicks. And here I have to enter the condition of click classes, contains, and then this part without quotation marks. So site nav link. And then I will rename this trigger to link click menu item or something like that. Click save. Now the last part is to send the link click information as an event to Google Analytics 4. Click tags, click new, tag configuration, and then GA4 event. In the first field, I have to select my existing configuration tag. And here I can enter the event name. You can name this whatever you want, but I will name this menu underscore click. And then together with this event, I can also send some additional parameters because right now I will just know the fact that link click happened, but I don't know which menu item was clicked. And if we take a look at the preview mode, we will notice some useful information such as click text, which is the text of a link and then click URL. What was the URL or address of that particular link? So I can go to event parameters and add two additional rows because I want to send click text and click URL. In Google Analytics 4, to send click text and click URL, there are particular parameters that are recommended by the documentation and they are called link URL and link text. And here we have to enter the variables that we see right here. These variables and their values will change on every link click. For example, on this link click, we have blog. On this link click, we have subscribe. So depending on what link was clicked, we will get a dynamic value sent to Google Analytics 4. So in the link URL field and its value, we will send the click URL variable. Click this button to insert a variable. Now let's select click URL and for link text, we will select click text. In the triggering section, we need to add our existing link click trigger that we have just configured. So click this section and select link click menu item. The final step is to name this tag. You can name this whatever you want, but I usually name it like that. G for event and then the name of the event. Click save. Now it's time to test this. So click preview. This will refresh the preview mode. I will close all the other unnecessary tabs. And now I will click the first link, then the second link, and then let's say this link. Now, if I go to the preview mode of Google Tag Manager, as I've said before, you will see two link clicks. On the first one, the tag fired because this link click was dispatched by Google Tag Manager. But on the second link click, no tag fired. So this is okay because on one click, we want to send the event to Google Analytics only once. So it means that the tag must fire only once. And it did exactly that. It fired here and it did not fire here. Now let's go to Google Analytics 4 and test if this is working properly, meaning that the events were received by Google Analytics 4. In GE4 property, go to configure, debug view, and then you will see your events right here. If you click on menu click and you click on, for example, link text, you will see the text of a link and you will see the link URL as well. So once you made sure that everything is working properly, click submit and name this version to something like manual link click tracking in GE4. Click publish. And now these changes went live for your website visitors. So it means that from now on, Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4 will be able to track menu link clicks on the website when any of the visitors click that. Within 24 hours after you have published your changes, you will see your menu click event in standard reports of Google Analytics 4. To do that, and again, you should check this after 24 hours, go to reports in the left sidebar and then engagement events and you will see that event in this list right here. I don't see it because still not enough time has passed after I've published these changes. Let me switch to another test property where I have tracked menu link clicks in the past. So it means that enough time has passed and I have that data visible in the reports. So I am in reports, engagement events, and now I will keep looking for the menu click event. I don't see that in the first page, so I will go to the next page and here is that event. In this property, I named the event a bit differently. It's not menu click, it's menu link click, but I can already see it. When I click the event, I can see some widgets right here. I call them menu item name, which is basically the text of a link and then menu item link. However, by default right now, when I'm recording this video, Google Analytics 4 does not make these widgets available by default, 
Maybe they will do that in the future. So if you see those parameters, that's good. You don't need to do anything else. But if you cannot see them, then you will need to go to configure, then custom definitions, and then click create custom dimensions. And here you will need to register those two dimensions or those parameters that we sent with Google Tag Manager to Google Analytics 4. And I mean those dimensions that are available in GTM and in the event tag right here, link URL and link text. So if you don't see them in your interface and you want to see that, then you will need to go to creating custom definitions and then enter something like that, link URL, custom dimension, and then enter here, link URL, leave the scope as event, and then create another dimension where you enter link text, custom dimension, leave the scope as event, and then enter link text. Don't worry if you don't see any suggestions in this field, that is normal, click save. And then after you do that, within 24 hours, you will start seeing those dimensions if you go to reports, engagement, events, and then you click on that menu link click or menu click or whatever you name that event. And in this page right here, you will then start seeing those dimensions. But keep in mind that this change applies only from the moment when you create those dimensions. So your historic menu link click data and their text and their URL will not be displayed here. So if you want to see this, you have to do this as soon as possible after you configure menu link click tracking. If you also want to see menu link click data such as link text or link URL in your custom reports, which are explorations, then let's take a look how can you do that. So click explore, click freeform, and then you will need to add some dimensions right here by clicking the plus, then enter link URL and add it. You can choose your custom dimension as well, but right now when I'm recording this video, you can also use this one because in custom reports, link URL is available by default and you don't have to register them as custom dimensions. Then do the same thing for link text, click checkbox and then import. Now these two dimensions are available here. Now let me clear the existing predefined settings. So I will remove city, I will remove columns, I will remove active users. Instead, I will select event count and will drag it to values because I want to see how many times was each link clicked. And then you can add let's say link text to the rows. And also I will select a longer date period to include those menu link click events as well. If you cannot see the apply button, you might need to zoom out a bit and click apply. And I already have several link click text like blog and subscribe, but I'll also have an empty row right here. This includes all other events that are not link clicks. So we need to narrow down and actually exclude this row right here. And you can do that by creating a filter where you include only those events that are menu link click or some other event that you used. You can do that by going to filters, click right here and select event name. You will see the event name here if you have added event name in the list of dimensions. So if you don't see it, you will need to add event name by clicking this plus icon. And now I will create a filter where I'm looking for event names that exactly match, and then I will type menu link click and click apply. And now I have a report of link clicks, well actually menu link clicks, and I can see how many times was each link clicked. If you want to sort this, then you can click right here, then maybe click again, and then you will sort this by the event count. If on the other hand, you see no link click events right here, it means that maybe that website element is not a link. It might look like a link, but maybe a developer coded it in a bit different way. So if you're facing this situation, then you might need to try another type of trigger, which is called all element clicks. So click triggers, new trigger configuration, and then you will need to use this trigger instead. And that is how you should track link clicks with Google Tag Manager. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.